I just want to let all the listeners know at this time on the phone we have Mr. John, correct me if I'm wrong, Sankey, the drummer for the band Devil You Know. It is. I'm half asleep at the moment, but I'll wake up pretty quick for you. Nope. Hey, and I appreciate the call, and I want to say hello, welcome, and thanks for taking the time to join us here on the G-Spot. Other than sleeping, what's going on? Uh, lots of traveling, lots of, uh, lots of playing music, man. That's it. You know, on stage, back in the bus hit the road and then we do it again over and over and over that's awesome man i love it you guys are really getting around very quickly for those who may not have heard of devil you know can you tell us how the band formed well it was myself and francesco the guitar player we've been friends uh just from the los angeles music scene uh for years now i guess and um yeah, we just decided you know let's get together and work on something different uh obviously we we both come from more technical i guess death metal bands and so we really wanted to, to try and get away from that and just do something purely for fun. There was really no uh, no long-term plan or even a plan to get out and do shows or, or record or anything like that. It was purely just something for us. And uh, the, as we wrote more and more, we were like, you know, this is really cool stuff. It, it would be a shame just to uh, just to shelf it and, and actually not do anything with it. So the next step was to get some vocals on some of these demos and just kind of hear where we were at and what we were able to do. And through mutual friends, I got it in the Howard's hands and uh, you know we, we knew it was going to be a long shot didn't really think anything of it and he got back and said hey I really dig it let's talk some more and long story short from there man he ended up flying out to LA we did some demos got signed got tours here we are that's it. <laughs> you have an ingenious collection of members in this band. What was it like when you all came together to do this CD? And by the way, their new CD is The Beauty of Destruction, for those of you who may not have heard yet. What was it like for you guys to come together and actually sit down and start this project? It was really cool. I think that the coolest thing about it was every step, every step of making this record and getting to where we are right now has been very special spontaneous and just kind of on the spot N none of this has been planned so i think that that's the really exciting part and i think that's why a lot of people are really digging this album because we didn't overthink it we just went in and we were still writing material on the spot and making a lot of changes and just kind of uh you know winging it as we were going so i think it has that very uh you know just that very natural and spontaneous feel to these songs so for me you know, well i guess for the three of us myself francesco and howard that was the coolest thing and you know we definitely want to try and maintain uh you know just maintain that in our music and um you know what once the album was done we got the other guys in roy and ryan and those dudes are awesome and yeah it's just all gelled really cool man it, it's it's been a great experience and we're just really digging it I want to talk about a couple of tracks off this CD, if you don't mind. A New Beginning opens this CD and releases the Hellhound of Thunder, and it slams it, <laughs> it slams it upside one's head. <laughs> what was was that the intention? I mean, but is that your intention when you write an album, or even when you start the process to come out? The first track is going to be like, "This has got to slam, man. This is just got to hit home." Would that be your intention or the band's intention? when you started this yeah of course to me the first track on on any album is is pivotal to, to the rest of the record you want something that yeah, as you say it's going to be slam and it's going to grab you and make you want to hear the rest of the record every step of the way you know my I, I think back to like uh you know like burn my eyes by machine head like davidian and and d manufacturer and those you know to me those classic album and those songs just set the tone for the rest of the record to be amazing so you really uh yeah it, it has to be slamming and it's got to grab you but the funny thing is we actually uh, uh right until the end very close to the end of making the record there was another track that we had that didn't even make the record and for the bulk of the time recording, we thought that was going to be the opening song. And uh, one day, Fran and I were just sitting in the studio, and we had a couple of demos that we, we really liked the parts of. So we grabbed the parts we like and just kind of pieced it together and quickly uh, jammed it out and, and basically made the song, and that became a new beginning. And everyone was like, holy shit, you know, there's our opening track. That's it. <laughs> so it was the last song that we did. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. The track My Own it is also a fistful of fury in the face if you can tell us what was the writing process like with that song well it was the same with all of them the music was all 
basically in place first. And uh, then when Howard came in, I mean, we man, we had like nearly 40 songs that Francesco and I had written. So Howard just kind of ciphered through all the tracks and was like, all right, I'm feeling something here. I've got an idea for this one and this one and this one. And once he put the vocals, uh, the rough vocals on the, some of these tracks, they really changed up and, and just totally took on a, a new life. And my own was certainly one of those songs. When we heard that, that chorus hook, we were like, okay, here we go. You know, this is going to be one of those super anthem tracks, you know, the, the massive, big, uh, melodic, melodic chorus chorus that how is you know very much known for so uh, that i mean that song we dug it as it was but the vocals really made that song special and we've noticed every night we've played that track you know people love it so it's going to be one we're going to be playing for a long time it is a great track and i particularly like that one a lot although the whole cd is great another punishing track is the killer how easy or how hard was it for you to incorporate your style of playing not only with the other members but particularly with this song uh I mean, for me that that song is musically uh you know it, it, it doesn't have a whole lot of diversity and change up but it's a very powerful track and once again it was really one of those ones when Howard put the vocals on top of it it just made it such a cool track and I think it's it's a little different to most of the other songs on the record you know we we really went for diversity between the between the songs you know we wanted to cover as as much ground and as, as many bases as we could uh, you know with, with this album overall so that that track Although, you know, I've got to admit, when we were doing the record, it wasn't the most exciting song for me. But when we play this stuff live now, it's one of my favourite tracks to play. It's definitely a live tune, and it gets everyone, uh, you know, jumping and running in circles and all the crazy stuff that they do. So I love it. It's cool. No pun intended, but it is a killer tune. (laughs) This whole CD is bone crushing. If there's any track off this CD that would be one of your favourites, which would it be and why? Oh, man, a a mind insane, because it's fun. It's brutal. It's the heaviest song. So every night when we're playing these gigs, I can't wait to get to that song. <laughs> I love all of them. I, you know, I, I really love the whole album. I'm so proud of all the songs. There's, there's not a moment on the record for me that, uh, you know, that I, I don't enjoy. But am I insane? That's just. I, I think personally for me, I feel very comfortable with that song because it's more my background. You know that the faster stuff and it's a bit more choppy and changey and I, I just love it because it, it still works within the sound of this band but it, it just came out really cool i love the whole cd but yeah that one sticks out in my mind too <laughs> yeah it's, it's pretty brutal man that one definitely sticks out to most people but you know like obviously we've had the whole kill switch comparison and that we'll forever have that and then i'm fine with it i mean you know i, I think we stand on our own two feet with this band but um the fact that you know even with a song that brutal how it can incorporate some kind of melody you know we were just like dude <laughs> crazy you give that guy anything and he will find your hook but but he made the, the really brutal part super brutal like more more heavy and intense than anything i've heard him done so the contrast is just awesome very very diverse and it was absolutely insane again no pun intended how <laughs> how excited were you guys when you released it oh extremely you know it, any band or any artist is always excited uh, when their music is released for people to hear, obviously. But, you know, to everyone else, this is a brand new band that I guess really kind of taken off very quickly. And, and it has to a degree. But as I said, Francesco and I, you know, we've been working on music for years and years together. And the three of us, myself, Fran and Howard, have worked on this pretty much every single day for the for about the past two years. So this is, yeah, this has been a, a whole lot of work, a whole lot of time and effort and energy just everything that we've had we've put into this so we were uh, you know excited but extremely relieved that it was it was finally out and people could uh, kind of hear what you know what the hell we've been doing for, for a couple of years going back to what you said earlier you're on tour right now I know it's coming to an end but you've been playing with BLS down in the Butcher Babies what has that been like performing with these artists oh man it's it's been beyond awesome I mean this is uh, this is a dream come true you know Phil uh, and Zomo and Zach Wilde. Uh, I mean, it just, you know, it, 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 it's so cool. There's, 
there's no way really to, to explain it. Uh, if, you, if you would have told me that I'd be doing this in a, however many years back, I, I just would never believe it. And and the great thing is, uh, apart from sharing the stage with those guys, you know, they hang out with us every day, and you know, we're like brothers now. They're, they're super uh, super kind and just really nice dudes. So you know, that goes a long way. And we've had a blast, man. It's just been amazing. Seems like you guys have. I've been following you on Facebook, watching some of the posts, and I just got to say, I I know you guys are very young so to speak but for the fans that you do have out there is there anything you'd like to say to them yeah i mean thank you <laughs> yeah the response is, has been so overwhelming uh every show you know we've had so many people uh come up and and shake our hands and talk to us and uh you know just tell us how much they love the music and uh you know obviously you get into music because that's what you love to do and we play the music we love to hear but it's it's such a nice thing when when other people are into it and appreciate it you know that goes that goes a long way and i know how it is you know i'm the biggest music fan there is man you know i i, I still check out as, as many bands and and as much different music as i can and uh you know I, I, i'm that fan as well so you know i'll never take it for granted and we appreciate every single person that comes to check us out you know that uh that's going to keep this band going well, you guys seem to be off on the right foot, and like I said, you've skyrocketed in such a short time. I didn't even know you guys were together. When you came out and I checked out the CD, I was like, wow, man, where are you? I mean, obviously, I knew who you guys were. I just didn't know who you were collectively with this new band. One more question, then I'll let you go. I know you're very busy. After this tour, as we discussed earlier, which ends on June 7th, you're going across the pond to do some shows over there. Is there anything else that we could expect from Devil You Know in 2014? Um, yeah, I know we head over to Europe. We're going to do some of the festivals and some uh, some club dates there. I think after that, that, as far as I know, there's nothing set in stone at the moment, but there is talk of um, more American dates, uh, possibly Canada as well. Um, I would say we'll have a little break over Christmas and then get straight back into it and, and hit it hard early 2015. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure people are going to You'll see plenty of us. Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of this year left, and the album's still fresh and new. So we've got to be out there grinding away, doing our thing. So uh, you know, we'll we'll be out and about, man. Awesome. That new CD, I'm loving it myself. I'm gonna enjoy it for a while. I'll be patient and I'll wait for <laughs> more stuff from you guys. But I'm already chomping at the bit here to get something else and be like, wow, man, they just they don't stop. Francesco and I don't. I mean, we've we've already started working on more music. You know, if you see and I. Are just no good with downtime. If, if we're sitting around, man, we just can't be bored. We'll just write music, and that's uh, he's such an amazing dude to be in a band with because we're so like-minded and we just love to write music. So uh, you know, it, it will definitely be sooner than later. Uh, you know that you would hear more more new material from us, man. We're uh, we're just going to keep keep writing, and um, you know we're we're looking forward to what we're gonna what we're gonna do next as well. I can't wait. I want to thank you for taking the time. I know you're very busy. Thanks to you. Thanks. To the devil you know and i wish you guys the best and keep on tearing it up man i appreciate that man thank you for having me and uh yeah anytime always happy to have a chat all right sounds cool man i'll let you go have a good one and rock on always man all right take care thank you john sankey the drummer for devil you know yes an incredible band it is a bone crushing cd the beauty of destruction devil you know check them out give them a listen right now we are going to play something new off that cd this is the devil you know for the dead and the broken off of the beauty of destruction right here on wsur (laughs) 